I'm super excited. Welcome back to my channel. It's Monday. I have a day off. I never have a day off, so this is like crazy to me. I have a pimple. Can you stop it? Mother Nature decided to be awful to me this month, and I have a pimple. What do you get after? Come here. So, yes, I'm super excited. I'm going to be filming a chatty get ready with me. My hair looks awful. This I know, but it's wet, so. Can you say hi to everybody? Can you say hi to everybody? You're getting so chunky. Maybe it's all that peanut butter your father's giving you. You think so? Baby. My beauty room, if you guys can see. Oh, Oscar, fur everywhere. If you guys could see the mess that's happening right now. I just got back from doing makeup this weekend and it's just it's just not it, oh it's a mess so i'm gonna work with the what i got so yeah but i'm super excited yay if you guys want to see my chat to get ready with me i don't even know what look i'm doing today i might play with the blue blood palette i i haven't decided yet so if you guys want to get ready with me hang out then just keep on watching so I'm gonna start. No, he wants my sponge. Stop. 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 You're not gonna get it. I'm starting by putting some eye cream on, and um, I'm gonna also put some moisturizer on. I'm gonna use the Clinique moisturizer. So. Can we talk about for a second? I swore I wouldn't talk about it because I don't get involved in ish like that. But oh boy, the James Charles stop, stop. The James Charles and Tati drama was just out freaking raging. I mean, whew, it's a lot. I refrain from watching any videos because I don't like, I'm not a picking sides person. I refrained from watching any videos, but uh, I, I'm, I did see tweets and all of that jazz, so what a mess. That's what I have to say, what a mess. I'm gonna be glowy today, so we're gonna put on some Becca Backlight Priming Filter. You know, I just think, oop, that probably might have been too much and I'm about to look like a snow globe, but we're going to roll with it. Whew. I think that everybody makes mistakes. I don't even want to talk about what I did when I was younger. You know, everybody does stupid things. Everybody's been an idiot at some point in their life. You know, that's how you learn. That's how you grow. You know by making mistakes and you have to accept it <laughs> you know like there's things you can't change if you did if you've done something you accept it you move forward and you keep going you are naughty you're naughty I don't think it's okay to you know for anybody to bash anybody and I think that that's the worst part about the internet is People involve themselves in things that have nothing to do with them. I look like a snow globe and my pimple is like, here, come find me. I'm going to use my Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Foundation. This is in the wrong shade, but we're going to make it work. <laughs> I just really want to use this guy today. This is in my more tan shade, which hopefully soon I'll be this tan again. A girl can dream. But yeah, anyway, the Tati James. I mean, that's just. Now everybody's just got to move past it, move on. I'm sure there'll be another drama filled something happening in the next few months. And everybody will move on. But that's the problem with the internet, is everybody gives their opinion, their unwanted opinion. 
about things that really have nothing to do with them, but you know what, that's something to be expected when you put your feelings out, you know, on the internet. There's something that feels really good though when I have to admit, and this is, um, like, I feel this way because, like, when I talked about my, um, my heartbreak when I made a video about that. There's something that feels so good about getting so many things off of your chest, you know, and it's like, in my situation, Dan, Dan, you know, wasn't speaking to me anymore you know like there were so many things unanswered from his end that I never I still don't and I don't give a shit but I still don't know you know what I mean and so for me I had so many things to say I had so much to say and it feels so good to get things off of your chest and <sighs> hydration break it feels so good to let it all out even if maybe he wasn't listening you know, and I, I know there's something so therapeutic about it, you know, so I can see why Tati did what she did. I'm going to use the Jouer Essential High Coverage Liquids Concealer. This is in the shade Wheat. Um, you know, there's something so just therapeutic, like I said about it. Like, it really takes you... To a, po a more positive place because it's like you let things off of your chest. But at the same time, the internet, especially when you have that big of a following, you know, like I didn't, so no one really gave a shit. Or I still don't. You know what I mean? Like I don't, I'm not like a huge influencer, so people don't be digging and make drama videos about it. You know, for them, they have such a big following, they hit such a big crowd, everybody feels the need to put their 18 cents in. And it just blows itself out of proportion, like, completely. By the way, this sponge is an elf sponge. Um, I got it for like, I think it was like three bucks. It's not their, their like, light pink one. It's, this is a darker, more mauve rosy pink. It's, it's actually really good. Um, I like it. I find that it's a lot more soft than the Beauty Blender. The Beauty Blender has a little bit more stiffness to it. Um, but it's not bad. It's so inexpensive. Who's talking to me? I'm gonna use my Maybelline Fit Me. This is my tried and trued. Can you get out of there? My dog is so nosy. I wish my husband would come home from work already. <laughs> come home for lunch. Come on, honey. All right, so I'm just gonna take the pointy part of my sponge, dip in there, pick up about not yay much, and I'm gonna just run right under my eyes. Pump, 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 pump. I'm gonna do a little bit on top. I almost don't. I almost don't bake anymore. I kind of just like work it in. Does that make sense? Like I place it and then work it in with the sponge instead of going back in with the brush. So we're going to repeat on the other side. I'll show you. Pat, 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 lightly. Go over the eyes. See something. I use conceal. I put concealer on top of my eyelids so that I can have a good base for my eyeshadow. You guys, this powder is just so good. It's just so good. and so inexpensive. Ugh, my pimple. I'm gonna turn it into a freaking mole. And no one's gonna know. <laughs> I used to do that. My sister-in-law used to make fun of me because I used to, um, this is just a Luxie 522 Taper Highlighter Brush. I'm just going to pick up a little more of the powder and run it over places in case there's any excess. Oscar, you're being so obnoxiously loud, dude. Wow. 
this is why I'm glad I'm not a stay-at-home dog mom. Okay. I'll put that away and then I'm going to work on my brows. I've been into a more natural brow lately. Actually, I'm going to set a little bit. I'm going to set my face with the Morphe. This to me is almost like a uh, Max, Mac, Max, Mac Fix Plus. Gives me that vibe. So, but it smells delicioso. All right. So I've been loving a natural, more natural brow lately. Um, but um, just defining it a little bit in the inner corner is what I'll do. Like lightly, just run this a little bit. I mean, and I'm telling you guys, a little bit. So then I'll go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Gel, and this is in the shade Blonde. So I'll just take the full wand like this, and I'll just start lightly combing through. I do have my hair dyed blonde, and I'm in the process of going more blonde. So... I want my bra. Can't tell right now because it's wet. But uh, brows are done. Moving on. I like a natural brow. I'm not gonna lie. Like I don't shape it up or anything. I like it to keep it very, very natural. Alrighty. So I'm going to take. This is another Luxie brush. This is a Luxie Duo Fiber Powder Brush, and I like to just take this with my uh, Hula Bronzer. Helps me to give it that effect. You can tell I'm saying, get out of there. God, you're so nosy. Also, this is my Benefit Cheek Leaders Pink Squad uh, palette. I love this guy. I've talked about him before. L-O-V-E. Love him. I also like to occasionally run some under the lip. Now, I'm going to take, it's just one of my favorites, my NARS Orgasm Blush. Like, show. I focus it more towards the outer part of my face, not so much heavy on the cheek, but more pulled back. Then I bring the excess onto the apple of the cheek. And I make weird faces when I do it so that I can actually see the apple. I always tell people too when I'm doing makeup, go like this. But it really accentuates the apple of your cheek. And they're like, um, okay. <laughs> so then I'm going to take my big, um, this is a Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH02. It's just a big, kind of like a more flat guy. But I'm just going to work those two together. And then for highlight... I'm going to take this little palette that I love so much, the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Palette. Um, and I'm going to take this guy in the far left corner, lower left. And I'm going to Another spritz to the face. Wait. 
I think I'm going to use my James Charles <laughs> fitting. Uh, but I want to use a little bit of the purple in there. I think I'm going to do like a purpley, halo-y eye. Per usual, we'll just see how it goes. <laughs> we'll just see how it goes. I'm going to start with the pink to the light pink all the way to the right. I'm going to start working that in the upper crease, looking down into my mirror. Right over that, make sure it's really diffused. And blend it out. My favorite brush cleaner of all time is the Cinema Secrets brush cleaner. I just put it in a little smaller spray bottle from an old brush cleaner that I had from Sephora so that I wasn't lugging around the big, big one because I got it in like a huge bottle like that. Um, but yeah, that guy I love. Just taking a smaller, more tapered blending brush. This is a JH31 and I'm going to dip straight into the Barney purple. So the bottom row purple, I'm going to dip into this guy right here. Actually, we're going to go with this lighter one. I'm all over the place. Just bear with me. <laughs> this lighter one next to this purple. So I'm going to do this one and then this one. I'm going to do like a hey, I'm wanting to do like a little halo eye. So I'm going to dip into the lighter purple and just pack that on the outer corner. The most product there. And then I'll start dragging that into the crease. I know a lot of people do halo eyes different, but I do it. This is the easiest way for me. Pat, 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 and then I'll drag through that crease all the way to the other side and pat, pat, pat. It just helps me not deposit the most color in the crease and on the inner, inner corner because I don't want to it to be like that. So I pack it, 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 one niner. And then go into the crease. And then to the inner corner. With whatever's left. And then I take my, where did it go? Oh, I take my, this is an M441, this is what I initially put all the, the light, light pink down with, and I just run this over the whole thing. I'm going to use the same brush because I really like this brush for what I'm doing. So I'm going to dip this into the darker purple, which is right next to it. Pick up some product, tap off any excess, and do the same thing. So pack, 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 pack. Pack, 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 pack. And then I will take it and start running it through the grid. And don't worry about your center little halo hole. <laughs> you can always go back with concealer and um, carve that out later if it gets to be too closed up in your blending process. And repeat on the other eye.
I'm not gonna lie, I've been really, really into, this might sound creepy, but I've been really into watching, like, um, murder mystery, I think, what is her name, Bailey? Oh, Bailey something. I'm going to take the purple that's in, right above that other purple, it's the only bright sparkly purple in there, and I'm gonna drag that on to the lid. I'm using my finger because it'll give me a better effect than with the brush. Be able to pick up more product. And then when I feel like I have enough, I'll go in with the brush. There's a girl, a girl, a girl, there's a girl that does murder mystery makeup Mondays. Her name is Bailey, oh, it's drawing my mind. I'll have to link her down below. Her name is, oh, I'll link her below. She is awesome. I love watching her videos. She does makeup really well. She has beautiful makeup too, but like her just watching her videos she talks about these like mysteries and murders and I just like get lost watching them I'm like <sighs> zoning out um, I'm gonna take the brush that I set my face with and just flick away any of the purple fallout that's gotten off I'm gonna take my setting spray and I'm just gonna spritz the eyeshadow brush a little bit and I'm going to dip into that purple, that sparkly purple, pick some up, and just pat a little bit more. Yeah, but I've been just really into those lately. It's crazy. I love watching them. I don't know what it is. I'm like, oh, just people talking about it, like telling the story of it. I'm like, whoa, draws me in. I watched her. She talked about um, Ed Gein. I don't know if you guys know who that is. Um, he, I'll link her video up below, but he inspired um, a lot of movies like The Shining, Hannibal Lecter, um, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. So you can imagine what kind of person he was to inspire. Inspire that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he was that guy. Yeah, the guy that like chopped people up and stuff, so... I love horror movies. Like when I tell you that I love horror movies, I love horror movies. What's your favorite movie? I'm always interested to know about that. Like what everybody else's favorite movie is. Okay. I still think I'm going to use 1996. I think it looked really pretty for them to be like flared out. Because then you can kind of We're gonna roll with it. <laughs> We're just gonna go with it. You guys wanna know what I'm doing to me? I'm I'm going to the grocery store. Like this. Yeah. Yeah, this is how I'm going to the grocery store. In leggings. So, y'all. I'm gonna curl my lashes and um, then we will get to putting on the lashes, which is my favorite part. 
if I do say so myself. Let's take out these guys. I'm so sorry I could not film an outro because my camera died. And uh, my mother-in-law put my freaking camera battery somewhere. I don't know, when she comes and cleans. So, <laughs> um, yes, but this is the finished look. I put on the um, Dope It's Mario Bell Co. 1996 lashes. Um, and I'm loving them. And then I also put on the Smashbox Liquid Always On Liquid Lip in the shade Get Lit, I think, for sure. I'll link it for sure in the bottom bar. But yes, this is the finished look. I am so happy I went with purple today because purple is my favorite color, so we on. I'm going to go to the grocery store. I'm going to get me a Starbucks because, girl, I deserve it. It's my day off. Um, my fiancé is home sleeping with the dog, so I'm relieved that I won't have to come home to clean up any poo <laughs> because that's my life. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you never... Here we go. Miss a video with me. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all. Have an amazing week and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.